Okay, this is a really short tutorial on how to carve this stuff, which is the insulation foam. Sometimes it's pink, sometimes it's blue. Uh, you can make just about anything out of it. These are attached with hot glue. I use low temperature hot glue. I've never done hot, high temperature hot glue, so I don't know what it would do, but it's held together pretty well. You can see on this piece, this one I broke apart to show you about how much hot glue to use. Hopefully you see all this. Um, knives. I use these right here because one, you can change the blade out. Two, you can get really far out with the blade and they're pretty flexible. So you can get a nice curve or get in a space that you is harder to reach. Um, and you can get replacement blades for like two bucks for a bunch of them. So, um, I'm going to show you what not to do and what to do. When you go to carve, you want to do like little slices. And you can get that nice edge. This is apparently is not a new nice blade. But you kind of want to saw it back and forth. Okay. There you go. And you'll get a nice clean cut. When you start doing this, you'll get this. When you start like digging too far or your blade's getting dull. Oh, let me find one with a really crappy blade. Oh yeah, here we go. You can't, it'll do this. And you can't cut as smoothly. Even when I'm being, trying to be really dainty and delicate, it's still going to dig it up. So, when it starts doing that, change your blade out and you can go back to a real smooth nice cut and it's easier to take a little off you can't always add it back so you can go back through and you'll notice that it's kind of raised up on areas you can sand that out uh, here's some sandpaper just to show you smooth. Very smooth. Um, I know a lot of people will do, if you're going to do a weapon, they'll do the, um, they'll layer it. They'll do the core, then they'll do the outside, then they'll do another layer. So you might want to take you a little brain power to dissect what you need to do, but that's how you carve your foam. And to get into it, I don't have anything to show you how to get into a small space with the blade, but like I said, you can curve it and get nice deep cuts if you need to. Hopefully this helps everybody and happy foaming.